out there. Wow. What are you guys all doing here? What is this going is on? Fair bang. Fair you were bang. in the middle of the show, and you were, we're all I think I was on the show. <laughs> it's been a while. A while back. It's been a while. Look at us. Look at us. Love. Uh, love. <laughs> a lot of love. Yeah. You know what to do. I, I think I'm supposed to say something what as I leave to what you, you to say? like take it away or yeah. have a good thing, but I don't, they threw me the mic and I just... That, that was, it was super convincing the way you said it. Yes. Okay. Do you have a good, put your, put back into it. What? Settle it. Oh, God. Get settled. You just ruined oh. the whole thing. Lights. Right. Oh, where Chad's gone. I'm right here. Oh, yes. He's I'm a always in your head, doctor. He's a man of the people. Uh, he always has been. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. What did you just get? A bag of chips? Yeah, no. I got candy right on this first pass. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you go. Now go away. He's not interactive hands. He just wants snacks. Oh. I got, uh, they're like vampire bites. You got and I'm excited. <laughs> What's a vampire bite? Well, they're vampire bites. Like the team? Can I see them real quick? Yeah. Oh. Um, very familiar. Yeah, thank you. Very familiar? Very familiar. Uh, oh, excuse me. Bloody bites. Ooh. See, that's a whole different thing. I'm not familiar with that. But no. look, watermelon candy. Yeah. Delightful. But you, I mean, how about I leave him right here? Yeah. I just, uh, and you guys. He, he's my blood sugar. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get, you know, I get a little faint. Bloody bites. Thank you yes. for the bloody bites. Oh. Thanks. How are we not Hi, Burbank. Good morning. Oh. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for uh, coming to hang out with uh, Three's company here. You know what I mean? This, the, with his the sauce, his, the sauce his, trio. His three's company to read. <laughs> wow. All right. uh, should we just get into some questions? Yeah, I mean, oh. let's just jump right in. Little heads up, this is something we introduced uh, oh, last week please. in Toronto. Yeah. Uh, when you have a question, uh, also be prepared to provide uh, various nouns, uh, or adjectives, or uh, various things, because we are going to be playing a little game of Mad Libs after dark. This yeah. it is yeah. naughty. It's uh, all okay. So just get ready. Just start thinking. Yeah. So because we're going to put you on the spot, and uh, who's up? Who do we got? Wow. We we'll go uh, what? over here. Hi. Hello. Okay, what I'm going to need from you is the name of a celebrity. Wow. Name of a celebrity? Yep. Misha Collins. Done. I don't know if that counts, but yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Good start. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Hi. Good, you? Good. Welcome. Delightful. Good talk. Good talk. Okay, next. Uh, what's up? Hoping that they're going to bring back a bunch of the dead angels back. So, my question is that if they bring some angel back, do you think he'll hold getting murdered against Cass? <laughs> do they hold a grudge? Uh, absolutely not. I think he knows who was in charge of that hit, and it was not Cass. Okay. He was the he was the murderer. He, he definitely stabbed me in the chest. <laughs> definitely. Murderer. He definitely killed me. Uh, but it wasn't his idea, so Samandria would forgive him. Do you forgive him? I will never forgive no. him. <laughs> Nor should you. I just kept wanting to rewrite it on the day. I was like, yeah. are you sure he stabs me? Are you sure, are you sure I'm dead? You just like make a change. Like, guys, I got the new side. He's just like sitting here like this. He's like, yeah, you're dead, kid. You're dead, kid. Oh, feel nothing. <laughs> if I don't act it, it never happened. The dead angels. That sounds like it could be a, a gang or something, you know? Yes. The dead, one of the dead angels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They've got motorcycles. Yeah. Uh, hey, what's Thanks up? Thanks for your question. Thank you. You. Uh, okay, uh, we need, oh, the name of a person in the room. <laughs> Any person? Sure. Any person, yeah. Dr. Ben. Dr. Ben. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Good old Dr. Ben. All right, you may ask a question now. Uh, first off, uh, Tyler, I love your shirt as a local Vancouver. All right. What is it, what is it? 
Expo 86. <laughs> it's the World Fair that yeah. brought eyes to our city. It sure did. <laughs> city on the rise. <laughs> uh, but my, uh, my question is for Chad because Gabriel and Tyler have already answered it before. Oh. Um, is if you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? It's you! Hi! <laughs> Hi, Gabriel. If I were a tree, what would I be? Yes. I think we're already trees. <laughs> Honestly, because trees stand in stillness, right? And I think we're kind of like trees, just. Not really standing still. <laughs> no, I, don't know. I, don't, I see it. I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah like, and no stillness. You follow me? All right, we're, we're beings. Okay, right? Trees. You could have said any tree. You could have just said any tree. Yeah. No, but I wanted to take a right. Um, I don't know what kind of tree. I feel like I'm already a tree. Oh. I just don't, I'm a, I'm a tree. I don't know what kind of tree, I'm just a, I'm a fucking tree. You really uh, branched off on your answer. Yes! Yes! Oh, no! Fuck! Yeah. You know what? That, that joke was extremely rooted in truth. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. I hope yeah. she doesn't leave now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Alright, hi! Yeah. <laughs> Those jokes are low hanging fruit. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 it won't wow. stop. It won't stop. <laughs> uh, I would love a noun from you. Um, angel Blade. Fair enough. You say Angel Blade? Yes. Angel. Great. Thanks huh? for that. <laughs> uh, my question is for Tyler. Um, Hello. Hi. How does it feel to be the most pure, innocent character on the entire show? Excuse me? <laughs> uh, it feels great. Yeah. Uh, still got stabbed in the heart and uh, still super dead. But other than that, uh, I, honestly, I do appreciate all the, the memes and pictures that I get sent to me, and it's always me looking like a little, little like, elf, or like, you know, like, my eyes are bigger than they are, and I just look super cute and miniature. But, Thank you. Doctor. <laughs> Dr. Gabriel. Gabriel Tigerman. <laughs> Everyone look away from Gabe. It's all love. Who would they partner me with? Yeah. You were saying? <laughs> No, it, feel, it feels nice, and I appreciate all the artwork, and uh, I, I can tell you, you, my hangover yesterday did not feel very adorable, but uh, I'm here, two cups of coffee in, I'm feeling great. <laughs> Thank you. All right, next, I would love a verb ending in I-N-G, some action word, please. Ending in I-N-G, yes. Sweating. Sweating. <laughs> Nailed it. Fair enough. Huh. So don't try this, eh? Oh, no, I loved it. It was great. <laughs> I don't know what... I have diabetes now. Just on the pure... Your eyes. <laughs> it was pure fear. <laughs> A lot going on. Uh, yes? Hi. Hi. Um, I was wondering what your guys' favorite movies are. True Romance. Shawshank yeah. Redemption. Ah, both. I love them so much. The Joker. Uh, is it number one now, or is it just hot? It's just hot for you. Uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, loving the I'm loving the Joker movie. It's, 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 it's fantastic. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Have you guys seen it? Seen it. Yes. I saw it. I was uncomfortable four minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> and I was uncomfortable 98 minutes later. Yeah. Uh, it was one of those movies that made me stop and think. Like, I really yeah. need to, like, absorb it all after the movie. It wasn't like I just moved on. I actually had to sit down and think about what I had just witnessed. And it was a heck of a movie. 
My favorite movie, though, I'm going to go back on a little bit of a child, childhood tip. Yeah, uh, do it. The movie that uh, really got me into like uh, the world of you know playing and acting and imagination was the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So oh, wow. it'll always be one that like sticks out as one of my top movies of all time. I cried several times watching that movie. Very scared yes. of blueberries, apparently. Yeah. No, honestly, I was traumatized. And then, of course, the boat ride. That was terrible. Very upsetting. <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh, let's just put this in a kid's movie. <laughs> seven, <laughs> seven times, you said? Or several? Several. <laughs> seven okay. is specific. It's very specific. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past you, though. I was upset. Yeah. I was upset with most of the children's deaths, even though they deserved it. Not deaths. <laughs> <laughs> They're not. So, <laughs> I decided they might be dead. <laughs> they shouldn't have survived many of those things. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, yeah. thank you. <laughs> thank you. I saw the snuff film version uh, of it's it's hard to get. It's a bootleg where they they murder all the children. Okay, uh, I would love a part of the body, plural, please. Eyes. Oh, that's sweet. Nice. That's what I was thinking. Too. Yep. Everyone else. Everyone else was like, "Man lives after dark." Eyes. Good. Superpower would you give yourself? As the animal? <laughs> yes. Oh. It's a good question. That is a good question. Do you have a, do you have well, a quick, like, quick instinct? Like, what's your first thought? Growing up, my first email was Monkey Man uh, <laughs> 191. So I'm going to have to go with Monkey. But when you throw in a superpower, that kind of changes everything. Uh, so maybe I'll just be a flying monkey, like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Speaking of things that make me cry as a child. <laughs> So I'm going to say a uh, flying monkey. Uh, I was going to say flying squirrel. Uh, That's more accurate. Which <laughs> just feels right for me. Uh, and comes with its own built-in superpower. Already in there. Uh, but <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I think I just want to be a dog. Yeah. I just want to chill. Yeah. Just be a dog. <laughs> with no superpowers. No superpowers whatsoever. None? None. Like, but like a sweet dog, but with like laser beams that shoot out of its eyes. <laughs> but when it lifts his leg up, <laughs> Yeah, to pee, to pee. I got it, it I got it. Slice so you're going to be a tree in half. Yeah! What, tree. Kind of, what kind of tree? Are we back to tree jokes? God damn it. I tear you a tree. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. So, um, so you're gonna be a peeing dog. Is what we're yep. Yes. Yep. Living the right. dream. Yes. Okay. A peeing, <laughs> awesome, chill <laughs> dog. People pay money to hear yeah. us talk. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, not specifically for that, but they happen to show up to hear this. <laughs> uh, I need a noun, please. Chair. <laughs> you guys are getting racy. Hi. Hi. It's okay. I, I'm a little short in case you can't tell. Um, so my question for you guys is, and I don't know, Gabriel, you may have answered this a couple years ago in Vegas, but if not, feel free. Okay. I would like to know, for each one of you guys, what was your favorite scene to shoot in Supernatural? Okay. You looked like you were. You looked. It was a pregnant pause. Uh, I have a couple. Uh, yeah. I. I. Uh, can I give you two? Okay. Um, when I did. No. Season. Uh, I wasn't asking you. <laughs> uh, when I did season one, the bugs episode that everyone so unanimously loves. <laughs> um, the only reason I still watch that episode. Thank you. I appreciate that. Say it. Um, I we, like that. Episode. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone else? She's the one. Thank you. <laughs> That's two for yep. a bunch. A few people. Yeah. Um, there was a scene where we're in the attic, and uh, it was Jensen, Jared, myself, and, and my family in the episode, and they actually released like tens of thousands of bees into the attic. And uh, it didn't work out well, as you can tell when you watch the episode, it's all CGI after the fact. But there was like tens of thousands of bees in that real attic. Bees? With a, like real bees in there. And of oh. course they just went straight to the light, like, <clears throat> they were just buzzing all over the place. It was not a very well thought out thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, these are super uh, trained bees, they're we cool. All, they're we cool. all had to like, uh, 
sting ourselves intentionally a few days prior to make sure we didn't have any sort of deathly allergic reaction to these bees. Is this a true story? <laughs> you just lied. Swear to God. What? Yeah, and Kim Manners, uh, the director, who, uh, you know, has uh, passed away, rest in peace, he was actually in the little uh, roof shed, I'll call it, uh, sure. with us actors. So he came in in his shorts and t-shirt just to, like, in solidarity yeah. to be in there with us. I was, like, 18 years old at the time, and I just remember <laughs> thinking how cool that was that he came in with us, you know? He could stay in the safety of his his monitor, but he's like, he wanted he wanted us to feel comfortable and know that he's in there with us. So that was like a, a moment in my career as a young man where I was like, you know, not everyone in this industry is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> and my other, my other scene was when I came back to Savantriel and we were in that like auction house and they had all sorts of cool artifacts and Jensen and Jared were there and it was a really fun day on set as well. I love that you're in church, like one of your early early introduction to acting is just thousands of bees. I know this is how it is. This is how it is. Just bees, bees in, bees in Hollywood. Yeah, it was, it was weird. Man. How did they get you stung? Did they bring they you put, a bee? They put like a filter in between you and the bee so they don't kill the bee. But okay. you still get enough of the, I don't know, poison to know if you are going to die or not. Cool. <laughs> yeah. How'd that go? I didn't die. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I've made it. I've been stung since as well. So. Okay, good. Um, uh, my favorite scene was uh, when I had a scene where uh, uh, Jensen can't stop telling the truth. Uh, this is like a supernatural version of Liar Liar. Uh, I'm just realizing, and uh, I didn't realize that Jensen was funny. Because uh, I just met him and he was like, like, oh, here's like one of the most handsome people I've met in person. God can't have also granted him a sense of humor or other other talents. Oh, he did? Fuck me. Uh, great, great, that sounds fair. Uh, and I, it, I almost broke, because he was like, we hadn't rehearsed it or anything like that, and just the way, the way he just like was uh, compulsively telling the truth was really legitimately funny uh, and amused me. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> Life isn't fair. Uh, what do I do? Um, I think the one, the one that comes to mind is uh, in season five when Dr. Badass had a shotgun a beer. And um, I had never actually shotgunned a beer before. It's not my thing. And um, Jensen was the one that taught me how. And uh, on set they have you know these... How? Yeah, I think so. Uh, they have these set beers that are like, they smell like sulfur. They're awful. Yeah, they're terrible. And uh, my sister was visiting that day. And um, I remember um, her freaking out because um, Jensen was like, here, I, this is how you do it. You know, he's like, he's coming over and he's showing me how to shotgun this beer. Meanwhile, my sister's in the corner just like trying to keep her shit together. Um, it was great. So he showed me how to shotgun the beer and, and then um, we did a couple of takes and then uh, as I was shotgunning the beer, I realized, well, I didn't know actually the beer was actually pouring out the side. It's in the blooper reel, you can see it. The beer was pouring out the side, all over the mullet, it was coming down the mullet. I had no idea, so I was just going for it. And then I see Jared and Jensen trying to keep their shit together. <laughs> um, everyone's trying not to laugh, and uh, I just kept going with it. And then finally, uh, Jensen goes, cut, we couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> Everybody was laughing, and it was nice. It was a nice uh, icebreaker that day. Sometimes um, funny shit needs to happen on set, you know? Um, sometimes it happens to you. That's right. <laughs> yeah. You're the guy. Sometimes you're the guy. Yeah. Uh, I realize we have a lot of these. So can I Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No. No adjectives? I said. Right yeah. yeah. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. It's hostile. <laughs> What's up? I need a, uh, an adjective. An adjective. Serendipity. Nice. Some of them. Very nice. Uh, I'll put that later. There we go. Serendipitous, we can do that. We can do that. Yes. Fair enough. Oh, I guess that's the solution. Just make it a nice, easy thing. Idiot. Okay. So my question is for all three of you. Yes. And um, in the episode The French Mistake, Jared Jensen and Misha play actor versions of themselves, and they all have quirks, like Misha's a jerk, Jerry and Jensen are divas that hate each other's guts. So I was wondering if you were in a French mistake-like episode where you had to play actor versions of yourselves, what quirk would you want? I mean, I think it just came out on stage here. 
I would also be a jerk and an asshole. <laughs> Just hostile and withholding. Yeah. <laughs> um, what about you, Chad? I don't know. I feel like we come with these quirks already. <laughs> I think it'd be like... Yeah, we're full of quirks. <laughs> it'd be your tree thing, you know? You would just be floating around the set, maybe. Yeah, know? no, yeah. Be seeing things, maybe, occasionally. Yeah, maybe. definitely. Wait, this... who was that presidential candidate? Uh, the, the woman... Uh... Oh, no. I know you're talking about. Donald Trump. Uh, no, 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 what, yes, yes, Williamson, you, oh, in your answer, yeah. I felt like you were channeling a little bit the Williamson of this convention right now. <laughs> uh, you know what, I feel like we're all trees. <laughs> <laughs> yes! You gotta think about that later and be like, fuck, I think I get it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what quirk would uh, my vision <laughs> myself be? Oh god. Uh, I... <laughs> I think I would just crank up my neuroses to like a, an 11, uh, is, is what I would do. Um, yeah, I think that's what I would, that, that would be my version. Seeing as Misha just kind of went with the truth. Uh, wait, what? Uh, uh, I need from you Thank you. a part of Thank the you. body. And don't say eyes. It's getting all you guys, come on now. <laughs> on the spot, or Chad can take it. Getting input from the peanut gallery. Sure, yeah, yeah, they're great. Boobs. Boobs. There we go, guys. Come on now. Hi. Right. What time is it? Hi. Like 11. It's early, it's early enough for me. It's after dark. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere. So, Chad, I was just wondering when you're going to bring your mad ghost hunting skills to San Diego. Right? Yeah, good yeah. yeah. question. Um, Soon. Soon. Are there, are there some super haunted everywhere. San Diego? Like, everywhere. Uh, everywhere. Uh, and there's one that's really famous there. The Whaley House? Yes, the Whaley House. <laughs> sounds terrible. Yeah. Um, hopefully at some point. Uh, I do a lot of ghost hunts all over. And um, it's, it, ghost, it, it's right ghost, ghost hunting. Um, and uh, yeah, we're, we're going to try to do more here on the West Coast. Um, I've got a couple in Florida coming up here at the end of the month. And um, yeah, I take people out on, on adventures into really haunted places and communicate with spirits and really weird shit. Arizona. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, thank you. So I hope to see you out. I want, I, I, right on. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm just going to need an adjective from you. Jesus. Jesus, like. <laughs> <laughs> and you, now you can do an adverb, because we've already had oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Lee. I was stupidly not prepared for this. You know, I'm going to need a type of liquid for me. Oh, Mad Libs After Dark. You're a scamp. <laughs> a liquid, please. Uh, you want a what? A, a liquid, liquid, please? Astrovide. <laughs> Here we go! In the spirit of things! Wow, nice. There you are. Uh, my uh, question is actually also for Chad, and it's also related to ghosts. Um, I, my belief in ghosts is a big part of who I am. It's actually part of my religion as a Wicca, and um, I have actually, Sorry. Sorry. I've actually never had uh, any kind of concrete experience. Um, I've only have other people's stories to go off of, and actually. Uh, Ghost Stalkers is one of the best shows I've ever seen. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah thanks. Right on. But my question is, because my the fact that I have never had a, like a concrete experience kind of is very frustrating and upsetting and just kind of makes me doubt my own beliefs, mm -hmm. how do I deal with that? Well, I think you have to be open to it, which you are, but I, I feel like you're sort of, there's something that you're getting in the way of yourself, maybe, because as long as you're open to it, and, and, and there are certain places that, you know, facilitate more activity than others, you know? Um, but it's about that connection and actually reaching out and trying to communicate. Um, it's hard to say, you know, some people have experiences since they're young, and sometimes they can't get rid of them. Um, but come out to a ghost hunt at some point, and I always get some sort of activity 
no matter where I'm at. In fact, we were in, um, where were we? In, in London England. somewhere. England. Yeah, and we were at a hotel, and um, I was with you and Mark Pellegrino, and uh, we were in, we came to my room to do a little ghost hunting, and uh, we were communicating ghost hunting after dark. Yeah, and uh, you guys want to hunt some ghosts? Yeah. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. If you think about, you know, all of us um, passing, you know, where we, we could possibly become a ghost. And I think about all the people in the world. That's a shit ton of ghosts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, there's so much weird shit in this world that we don't give credit to. So it's everywhere. Figure out what you're doing to maybe get in the way of that. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. No, yeah. I, because we can block ourselves is what I'm trying to say. You know, I'm not saying that that's the case. Um, no, I totally understand what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it's just about going out and, and doing it, you know? Going, um, finding a ghost hunting team, finding some, you know, going out there and trying to have an experience. Because well, it's, I just it's there. went to uh, uh, Tucson, Arizona, so I guess you're going to have to come out to Tombstone. Okay, then Tombstone's great. Yeah. But, uh, you know, go grab a recorder and, and go out to these places and ask questions. You can, if you have a, a digital recorder, and start asking questions, play it back, and you may get some, some answers, you know? But it's there, it's gonna happen, I promise you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Would you like to become a ghost after you pass? Um, no. no, I would not like to become a ghost. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to take a break. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause there's no pause button here. It's like, it's hey, lot. life, we're all in it. Hey, all day. it's not stopping. Cold all day, every day. Right. I would like to take a break, and I'm hoping that I can see family and friends, because w what else is this for if it's not for love? You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I think. I hope. I think come but, back as a team. But dog. yes, I am going to come back and mess with my friends. <laughs> I mean, if I could choose anyone to be haunted by, <laughs> yeah. you'd be delighted. You'll know. Oh. You'll know. <laughs> if I go first, yeah. Yeah. count on it. <laughs> I think chances are. Uh, <laughs> hi! Uh, that was a threat. Uh, I would love a noun for you. Perfect! Cam Lawrence, Kansas. <laughs> Lawrence, Kansas. <laughs> Specific, proper noun. We'll take it. Hello. Hi. First of all, Chad, I love your voice. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, not that one. Hey, no, that was a little raspy and weird. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no, there it is. Um, question is for all three of you. Chad, you went to heaven and you created your own world. If you all could do that, what would be your world would look like? Again, family and friends, uh, for me, just gotta have it. Um, I also want to see dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah. Because how amazing would that be? <laughs> I just picture you getting haunted by dinosaur ghosts. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I feel like we deserve some answers after we die. I really do, and I, w I would like to, uh, I would like to see some some dinosaurs. <laughs> those, those are the answers you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, it was pretty, it, pretty was predictable. Question, was it heaven on earth? Was that kind of what you were saying? Like, what would? Yeah, it... like he went to heaven, and, and his world was, you know, like he was being able to find everything in heaven. Okay. So if you could create your own world in heaven, like, oh. again, what would it be? What would you want it to be? I think like Chad said, a lot of, a lot of family and friends, um, you know, time at home, home cooked meals, uh, peeing dogs, uh, praying That's the dream. That's, That's nice. the dream. Uh, I'm a pretty simple guy. Uh, I get the opportunity to travel around a lot, but I'm always happiest when I go home and I have a home cooked meal and I'm cuddling my cat. So I think I'm just going to say... <laughs> <laughs> that looked out well. This is new research. No, we got a big cat audience today. <laughs> I just, I'm happiest at home when I'm in sweatpants, you know, with my animals. <laughs> so that's my heaven on earth. Hashtag young Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm in Vancouver. I'm not a young Hashtag young Vancouver. Guy. Yeah, classic. <laughs> uh, just like 1980s uh, video game arcade. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Which game? All of them. Oh, like the arcade? Like, like, oh, like yeah, 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 just all of them. Which Can they're now them? coming out with. There's like, there's, uh, there's like button mash. Uh, and that's my heaven on earth. Uh, I would love a Thanks, ad, an adverb. It's a beautiful dog. Oh, thank you. 
Chad on Earth. Right? <laughs> Chad? Is that Chad? <laughs> yes. Okay, my brain is not working right now. That's okay. Can you give me an example of an adverb? An adverb uh, is an L-Y, ending in L-Y. Oh, oh, uh, um, is, is, I wouldn't say waywardly, but I know that's not a word. Let's do it. Let's go. Yeah, it makes love sense. it. We got it. We're like a third of the way there, really. Oh my god. <laughs> it's going to take forever. It really is. Uh, just, uh, for all three of you, so if you guys were brought back for this last season, what is the moment that you want your reveal to be? Oh, the final shot. I just want, I just want a really weird, like, like they pan up and, and they're at the window. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <laughs> Fade to black. Eric Christine. Nice. You're welcome. That's a gift. That's a gift. It's a shoot that. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably just be in the background of a shot, maybe selling hot dogs or something. <laughs> I don't need to be featured at the ending. No, no. I just need to be there somewhere. Yeah, it feels right. <laughs> a little Easter egg. Um, exactly. Sam and Dean are in this like building, right? You know, all of a sudden down the long hallway, like we're there. Boom. 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 What is that? Boom. 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 Oh shit! <laughs> Doctor Badass just kicks the door open. Right, they're getting their asses kicked. Pulls his head. Okay. <laughs> He's got a crossbow. Just whips it over. <laughs> right? And takes his mullet. <laughs> and then it just, you see it go in slow motion. <laughs> right? And then Ash just looks over at Sam and Dean. Just gives him the nod. Yeah. They give him the nod. Yeah. He turns back, walks out. <laughs> It feels right. Yeah. It just feels right. Yeah. Would you want at the very moment that you kick the door in, say the doctor is in? <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> There's no reason. Why not? I can't think of a single reason why, why not. not. And they'll be like, aren't you? Don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't worry about just it. Just fit it in the budget. Don't think too hard. <laughs> just yeah. do it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, Thank also, Gabriel, uh, Andy is also our favorite. What's that? Andy is our, our favorite. God bless you. <laughs> Jewel loves you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. That's wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. But now and then you can put Zool. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Zool is uh, oh. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, great. Like, I, like, I, like, hi. I'd love an adjective. Tom? Oh, let's go. Let's get a little race here. Sexy. Curvy. Sexy. Curvy. Oh, I like curvy. We're calling out. Hello. 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 You mentioned, Chad, you mentioned earlier about having a ghost hunting team. Yeah. I wanted to know how you three would react if they, you all went ghost hunting with Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of ghosts. <laughs> Um, so, I feel like running is, seems like the solid choice when presented with a ghost. You'd be surprised though, people think you run. Yeah, but that's you, what it's literally, but I don't know, you know, I've never run. I've, I just, it kind of hits you like shock, actually. Sure. And people are like, oh, you beat your pants. <laughs> like, like, no, yes, you don't not beat your the pants. Ghost. You know, yeah. You know, in a, typically you're pretty uncomfortable. Gabe's pretty uncomfortable with it. Um, typically, most you know, we have pretty pretty we had a lot of these conversations. Period. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, and you you've always been really really curious. When the, uh, with you, I feel safe. Yeah. Uh, but yes. other experiences, like I have no interest in messing around with that stuff. I've done the Ouija board once or twice. Ooh. And uh, I sometimes hear things at night. And uh, I just feel safe when I'm with you. Yeah. 
Wow. Yeah. So yeah, I think they would. Um, I think we. I, I think yeah. I'd do okay if I was with Chad. Like you mentioned, we did this one in England, but it wasn't really scary. It was just more of like uh, interacting with uh, something. Really? It wasn't like it wasn't like threatening our I lives. Was just, I was like, this is here. Let's it's let's just try to see. We would do the counting game. We'd count in a circle, and then his radio would count with us. And it was like we had moments where it was like communication, but not like full conversations. And I didn't feel scared. Uh, it was clearly like a nicer apparition or a nicer spirit. It didn't feel evil or mean-spirited, but uh, some of the encounters that Chad has, I just don't know how I would fare, truth be told. I, uh, because you mentioned, uh, you, you commented on the photo that I posted. I did, and I can't wait to hear this story. What, 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 what's your take on it? First of all, before we get into it, it it's a scary story. Um, and if you want to know the answer to it, what I think it is. Right now? Do you want to? Or no? Okay. No, 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 no. I'm down. Oh, I don't know. I feel safe here. Do you feel safe? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're in the hot. Look at Chad before he gets the photo. The photo yeah, side. the photo in question is on the Instagram, and I just literally posted it because we had this talk a week ago. Um, what? And in the photo, you're gonna see a creature um, in this photo. What's what the actor? You, what do you think it is? It's the actor from the ring. From the ring? <laughs> the ring. Yeah, the, the girl with the hair over her face. I know it's not that. Jack. It's not that. It's not that. Not that. So in the photo, um, the, it has. Um, it looks. There are three ways that this thing will manifest at this hospital, and it's called Old South Pittsburgh Hospital in Tennessee, and it has three manifestations: a goat, right, a bull, okay, and in this photo, you look at it again, and you're gonna see this massive body sitting under a window. And then this big black body that goes into the wall, right? And these two stout black legs, okay? And then this big chest, like this big skeleton chest with little faces, right? And then the head's like a cow head with little horns. And then this big black mane that comes down. And these long arms and these like really fucked up hands, okay? But the way that it's leaning and it's leaning and listening to me in a photo. So my take on it is that that's one of the forms that it took was a very regal sort of like a bull. There's another way that it manifests. A monkey, going back to the monkeys. The monkey, <laughs> right. So I vowed to never go back to this place. And the second time that I went, things got way out of hand. And I asked the lady, what's the third way this thing manifests? She goes, a monkey. So for three days, I was going hard. I want to see this monkey. Show me the monkey, 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 monkey. <laughs> oh, I was going hardcore. And uh, a friend put me across the head, said, you're out of line. And long story short, made some peace with this place, vowed to never go back. The next day, we're at a Cracker Barrel in the middle of Tennessee, having some lunch with the ghost hunting team. And my buddy goes, shit, we gotta get to the car place because it's gonna close. It was around 5 p.m. So we go rushing outside, and the first thing that I see is this woman, and she's standing there with a baby monkey in her hand. <laughs> a real baby monkey. <laughs> it walked by me, the monkey looked me in the eye, and said, it just looked at me and, and made a little like, ooh, ooh, face. <laughs> walked into the Cracker Barrel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that was a significant, um, Message from the universe. You're not allowed to see the bad monkey. You want to see a monkey? Here it is. Uh, we're going to show you a monkey. Now, when is the last time you've been at a Cracker Barrel in the middle of Tennessee and seen a live monkey? It's seldom. Show of hands. It's seldom. Exactly. You seen a monkey at a Cracker Barrel? <laughs> Have you? <laughs> I'm so. When? We go to Cracker Barrel it's <laughs> not a small sample size. And you can see somebody if you go to Cracker Barrel enough times, you're gonna see a monkey. <laughs> That's a rule of the universe. Was it an escaped monkey? Okay. It was like a display thing that they were doing like next door to the Cracker Barrel. Sure. That's amazing. <laughs> you're the only person that will ever <laughs> see a monkey. <laughs> We need to talk. <laughs> uh, yeah, so 
Wow. It gets weird, man. It gets weird. And I think uh, I definitely want to bring these guys out at oh some point. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> See, you, 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 I'd do it with you. I would do it with you. You would just you gotta go to that. You just gotta listen. Can't, we can't record it live, though, in case I squeal. Come on, that's the best part. <laughs> Are you kidding? The squeal. I squeal. watch Ghost Doctors. I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. I'm scared out of my mind. But that's the thrill, right? <laughs> Right? We're not going to go ghost hunting for, I mean, we want to, no, like, no, we, want, we want that. Let's make it happen. Yes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. thank you. Thanks. It's Halloween time. Which, which way are we looking? Over here. Over here. Hi. Uh, I'm going to need a plural noun from you. Plural noun. <laughs> great, su great, great suggestions. This is from over here, butt cheeks. Yes. <laughs> you my cheeks. So what what's happening? Like yeah, yeah, what is it's at it's the end of this we'll just we'll just read it all yeah. out. Yeah, alright, cool. Okay. Hi. Just get ready, I'm just gonna prepare you. Uh, we're gonna need a part of the body, plural. Uh, and later <laughs> we're gonna need some nouns and an adjective. <laughs> just percolate. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, my question is for Tyler. Um, so okay. the the scene with Samandriel that I remember the best is the one where you had this like apparatus on um, your head and were oh, yeah. tortured by Crowley. Forgot about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I locked that up. Yeah. I was wondering if you have any memory, like in memories of filming that and how that even worked. They just tortured you on your acting there. <laughs> yeah, beast be torture. It was uh, the apparatus itself was quite he heavy. And uh, some of like the points pushed into like my temple, so I remember feeling extremely uncomfortable. And uh, they strapped me into a chair, and like I remember we broke for like a break or lunch or something, and no one untied me. It was it was it was it was, it was an interesting day. It was a lot of fun. I remember I had to learn like an, uh, angel speak, so I had to like learn this language, and and uh, I did. Yeah. I, 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 no. <laughs> I had to uh, yell most of the day, and um, it was a lot of fun. It hurt my head. I went home with a headache that day, but I think the scene turned out really well, and uh, it was it was cool. It hurt. I got forgotten, and I screamed a lot. It was very well acted. It looked very creepy. Thanks. Yeah, it was real pain. <laughs> no, no acting. Yeah, I was screaming for help. <laughs> Acting is mostly uncomfortable work. Sure, it yes. really is. <laughs> if you're comfortable, you're not doing it right. <laughs> right? That's just your philosophy for life. Yes! <laughs> um, Hot, thank you. Thanks for the question. I'm going to need a uh, In the part of the body. Plural. Um, uvulas. Nice. By the way, I love the idea that I wasn't going to read this at the end. This is just for my private <laughs> yeah. collection. Hello. Good. Um, so my question, so all your characters are dead, big bummer. Um, <laughs> so, let's get that again, but like more sincere. <laughs> <laughs> Such a big bummer. There it is. Okay. <laughs> now, one tear. Just one tear. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> um, so, if you guys could change all your, uh, your characters' death to be like more dramatic or something, how would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like to go out with like a little bit of a fight, like the slightest, the slightest little bit of a fight, because all Andy was able to muster was a bit of a, huh? <laughs> and, and then just got ripped open by a little girl, like it was like that just went out like a real punk. So I'd like to take a stand of sorts. Is what I'd like. I kind of feel the same way. I got like backstabbed in the front. And, uh, it was my death was pretty dramatic. I think, like Gabe said, it would be nice to like have a little bit of awareness, and maybe put up a, a, a moderate fight. But I was just like blindsided and uh, then deceased. Final words or anything? For 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 my character, be like, why the fuck you do that? <laughs> The fuck, bro? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, so you would, you would cuss. Now. You would cuss. I, I, I'm sorry about cussing. Um, <laughs> but at least uh, I, I had uh, Cass holding me for a few seconds. That's the dream. That's the dream. <laughs>
Did that feel safe? Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's like I'm dead, but I'm so comfortable. <laughs> I think that's how we all want to go. Yeah. Just lay to rest. <laughs> well, I was... Look, we all saw, saw Ash's, um, you know, burnt hand in the watch, right? And I thought that was kind of a cop-out, man, because Ash is such a huge character in his own mind and own right. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? He's got to go out big. So um, I wish that we would have seen him just go up in flames, just <laughs> right? And he's just like, uh, he's just like, Wait, taking what's, it! What's he like? Taking it! He's taking it right, but the mullet stays intact. <laughs> the mullet stays intact. Sure. And then I'll add this bit. Uh, Ellen comes around the corner and just sees Ash just flailing. She just takes out one of those guns. Yeah. Right? And you, yeah. you follow the bullet. Yeah. Yeah. Takes Ash out and right. goes down. Yeah. yeah. That's how I want to go down. That's nice. That's, do you think yeah. that do you think yeah. there was an early draft where like to like indicate that it's Ash who's dead, that instead of coming across your watch, they just see like a mullet? I wish. And the ashes you know, I wish. Exist somewhere. Yeah. I think that would be weird. Because I don't I think it's impervious to fire. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. yeah. So, so Hi. Thanks. thanks. You know what I've loved from you? A down. Yeah, throw a, a noun. Tree. Tree. <laughs> the worst. Hey, you're about to get All right. This is for Chad. Um, lineage is here, so I wanted to ask you a question for them. Um, they want like any acting advice you can give. Oh, lineage. Yeah. 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 Uh, where's the lineage peeps? No one's here. <laughs> Not here. She just lied. They're outside. Uh, so they're just chilling like out there in the hallway. So well, they, uh, lineage, they're they're starting kind of like their little like spinoff from Supernatural and and the stories of Supernatural. And I look, I'm I'm a huge supporter of just people that are going out and and, and being creative and doing their thing. So I've got nothing but support. And I, I you know I think it's great that people want to take on and and um, do things that inspire them. And it's all about getting together and doing something fun and I mean that's what we do essentially and um, it's a lot of fun so uh, I'm a huge supporter of creative creative yeah Thanks yeah to yeah and persistence <laughs> persistence <laughs> in acting persistence that's the key I don't know if you want to talk about it kind of deep into my I soul. did <laughs> yeah, yeah I will never give up yeah. <laughs> never give up Hi. Hi. Plural noun, please. A noun? Plural noun. Plural noun? Yeah. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> Did I shoot something so good? Balls. Is that what you just heard? Great. Are you okay with that? Uh, okay. I'll take, a, I'll take an adjective from you. We're right on the last one. Uh, Richard, Rob, Rob jumped in yeah, last time. That's right. What did you? What was your word? Um, PB. That was it. That was it. Richard, would you like to give me an adjective? It's the last one. Adjective? Yes, please. It's for Mad uh, Libs after dark. It's, it's, uh, ad -libs, oh, after dark. Yes. Um, shitty. There it is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. For it. All right. Uh, we're gonna do a little reading. Let's do it. Right, right. Right. <laughs> you want you want okay. some interpretive uh, music? Yes, yeah, do give a little uh, Mad Lib music for you. All right, guys, good work on this together. Uh, he noticed her immediately. She had the beauty of Misha Collins <laughs> and the curves of Dr. Ben. What was a gorgeous angel blade like her doing sweating all alone in this party anyway? When their eyes locked alone in this part, that, that's right there. When their eyes locked across the crowded chair, a serendipitous smile slowly crept across her boobs. 
the Jesus-like chemistry seemed undeniable. It was Jesus Christly obvious that she wanted him. He grabbed two glasses of bubbly astroglide in the tray of a passing orange canvas and strode waywardly across the room. Her smile grew bigger the closer he got. He felt confident and curvy. He imagined their first date of candlelit dinner at La Maison de Bunchy. <laughs> All tubulas turning when he walked in with a stunning tree on his arm. He would dazzle her with witty balls and shitty charm. So what was the first thing you noticed about me, he said upon reaching her. She batted her eyelashes and replied, replied, Your Zool is unzipped. <laughs> Good work, we made that together. 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 We that was a lot of fun. Get up your bank there. Oh, sure. Sure. Oh, it was two. It was two. Uh, oh, Here we are. If, uh, if Witty Balls isn't an indie band, <laughs> sure, then sure. I, then I don't oh. know this crowd. <laughs> you don't get it. Ladies and gentlemen, I got Tyler John. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.